guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today it's gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna fix the uh, vacuum pump on this thing. So anyways, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so this is our part. This is our vacuum pump. Um, I got it from O'Reilly's and basically what this does is it um, it aids in braking. It gives you more braking power. So if this goes bad, you're not generally gonna lose your brakes, but you are gonna struggle a lot more to break uh, to break your truck, uh, like I was struggling on the on the way back home. Uh, it should be a fairly easy uh, swap. It's got three bolts and one hose, so hopefully it is as easy as it looks. Um, if not, we'll figure it out. Okay guys, so here we have a quick side-by-side uh, -side comparison of the uh, old pump versus the new one. So obviously you can see that my old one has this little cap missing from it. And uh, I think that's what went wrong, at least uh, to me that's what it seems like went wrong. That's the only thing that looks bad with this thing. And um, if you spin the pulley, you can freely, uh, well with two hands, you can spin it all the way around freely. And uh, to me that pretty much probably shows that it's not creating a uh, vacuum. Or at least not enough and this one you can't really turn it because that probably the cap is probably holding the, uh, the vacuum in there so this was super easy all you need is uh, 10 mil uh, ratchet and uh, ratcheting wrench preferably 12 point to get it out a pair of pliers to get the hose off and um, a 15 mil on a breaker bar to get your uh, belt off so anyways right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw that new pump back on it uh, throw the belt back on uh, fire it up Go for a test drive and hopefully that fixes it. Okay guys, so we got the pump in and that was actually a super easy job. Uh, just the way I like them. Three bolts, 10 mil, and a hose. And that was it. Um, other than the belt, which is super easy too. But anyways, let me show you. We got another new part in the... Uh, and the truck, which is pretty cool. So now I'm gonna do is just uh, fire it up, make sure that everything's working fine, and we'll go, and we'll go on a quick test drive. So. Are you guys like me and uh, get nervous every time you go to uh, turn your engine on after you worked on it? I don't know why, but I always have this feeling in my gut that I'm like, ah, I probably messed something up. <laughs> but anyways, let's fire this thing up. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up too, uh, too badly. Okay guys, so that's actually gonna be it. Um, small, short video, I just wanna show you, uh, you know, another thing that went in the truck. I wanna try and document everything that I do to it. Um, I do have a few things planned uh, for the coming days. So hopefully I get, those, I get that done over the weekend. Um, actually, I feel, I think I'm gonna have a free weekend this weekend, so hopefully we'll get all that done over the weekend. Um, I gotta start planning on how I'm gonna do the whole swap with the axles. Uh, if you didn't know, I got um, some 08 axles. Coil, uh, coil sprung DNA 60 uh, from an 08 F250 that I'm gonna be swapping on my truck. So definitely, if you want to see that content, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, uh, what else I gotta do? There's a few other things that I'm forgetting that I gotta do that I'm gonna do over the weekend uh, to the truck. So definitely hit that uh, like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you on the next one. So keep me company. Believe and make believe, just make your hands meet